Hey folks, Brendan here from Blue Light. Now, if you're watching this, it's highly likely that you're in the police recruitment process or you're actually a serving police officer. And the thing that's caught your eye is that forward facing questions title on the video, because it's become increasingly in vogue now to stop asking questions about, can you tell me about a time when at your interview or assessment center? These are the ones where the last question is like, tell me about a time when you've had to make a difficult decision, you've had to account for that decision to others. Can you tell me about a time when you've worked with other people to solve a complex task? Can you tell me about a time when you've had to prioritize multiple tasks? Yeah, they're so predictable, they're becoming a bit samey. So instead, forces are now starting to ask forward facing questions. Um, I've got some here in front of me. These are ones for promotion boards for PC to sergeant. Um, emotional awareness. Why is diversity and inclusion important and how will you play your part in implementing it in your daily role? Um, what Ownership. What role would you play in meeting your de department's objectives and what would you do to ensure that you and your team are successful in meeting these? Uh, collaboration. How will you create and build relationships with your partners? Uh, and more. There's some, some great questions that we've got here. And by the way, if you want to find out more information about those sort of questions, then join the Facebook groups, join the conversation. And there's some links below to all the different services as well. Uh, enter the Facebook groups, so whether you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube, or if you're watching it, no, that's the only place you're going to watch it, Facebook or YouTube, then all the links are below. Um, especially for those people, big shout out for those people who are actually in the uh, in-service development group that I've got. So there's over 50 members now, very new group. I only set it up last week. We've got over 50 members. We've already had our first webinar. This is for serving officers only. And as well as all sorts of different guidance, they also get a weekly two hour webinar where we deep dive into the sort of issues that they are facing in terms of promotion boards, specialist interviews, and we get to practice as well. We've only done one, and one of the things I'm going to mention here is an idea that came from one of them um, that actually really helped me think about how you would approach those forward-facing questions. And I'm gonna share it with you in a moment. It's absolute gold, this, you're gonna love it. And it came from one of the uh, delegates who's on that course. This is where we learn from each other. You know, I am not the person who's got all the answers for them, but I am the person who's helping them on their journey to succeed in their promotion board or specialist interviews, or just succeed in their career and start developing the evidence that they're going to need for their application forms to go to the boards, to go to the interviews. And so in answering those sort of forward facing questions, um, I had come up with a model previously, which kind of describe what I'm about to show you, but in a more complicated way. Um, and I think that model still works. It adds uh, meat to the bones, if you like. But a really simple way of thinking about it was suggested by, like I said, one of the delegates who said, why don't we just use Simon Sinek's three circles? Now, you might be thinking, who's Simon Sinek? Uh, Simon Sinek, um, thought leader, it's best best way of describing him. Uh, gave a TED talk in Puget Sound many years ago where he talked about uh, the, the difference organizations like Apple and Martin Luther King, individuals like Martin Luther King made, how they communicated their message in a way that motivated and inspired people. And he called them his three golden circles. And what he did was say that the those who organizations and individuals who are successful uh, when they're putting their message over and this is what you're doing in a forward facing question they do it differently to how everyone else does it and i, I don't want to sound like i'm duplicating simon sinek's uh, ted talk if you want to watch it and discover more then just go to youtube and put in ted talk that's just ted ted talk and simon sinek uh, that's S-I-N-E-K, that's Sierra, India, November, Echo Kilo. See, I can still remember it. Um, and what he said was that those people who are successful talk about their why first. They talk about their why. And then they talk about their how. And then they talk about 
want. So like I said, I'm not going to duplicate his TED talk, um, but this I think is a really good way of describing your forward, uh, a very basic framework. We're going to put more on each one of these to ensure that you just completely nail it on the day. But you start off with why this particular value or competency is so important. You can talk about it from your own individual perspective, talk about it from the organization's perspective, and its impact on things like legitimacy, accountability, transparency, uh, ultimately the impact on the communities that you are a part of as a police officer. So that's why it's important. Now, how are you going to implement it? This is where I suggest in my more detailed model that we actually come up with an example. Otherwise, it can all be a bit blurry and vague. So we think of an example of where that issue exists or where you're going to demonstrate that particular uh, competency or value. So, and then you describe in rich detail about how you're going to do that particular thing. So in this respect here, you'd be talking about, so collaboration, how will you create and build relationships with your partners? So one of, one of the models and structures I talk about is investing in the emotional bank account. If you want to find out more about how you would go about investing in the emotional bank account, and this isn't just a wild theory of mine, I've used it for years and it just works so well. Honestly, it works so well. Investing in the emotional bank account. And all sorts of other structures and models that you can talk about to apply to that situation. So for the collaboration one, we're actually in this group, we're working on a, um, one of the members of the group um, is working towards their sergeants. They've not applied yet, but they want to start developing the evidence and doing amazing things in the community. And they're talking about the problem we're actually working through is a homelessness one. Um, really, really complex situation involving multiple partners. And uh, once they've nailed it, uh, two things are going to happen. One, the individuals who are homeless are going to have much better lives, which is always a why. This is so important. Why? There's your why. It's the why I'm doing what I'm doing to help this individual, to help them. Um, but then we would we'll talk about how she's actually going to go about doing that, the steps she's going to take to do that. And part of that involves things like the emotional bank account. But also we're looking at things like more appreciative and more appreciative asset based approach to problem solving, um, an eight step process of intensive engagement, forming working groups, how you do that, uh, how you'd find the assets in the community, um, how you would um, leverage support from those assets and how you then move on to enabling the community to solve those problems as opposed to the police taking control and a load of other stuff. So there's your how in rich detail. The what is just quite simply, what will be the result of this? What will happen when all of these things take place? What is the most likely outcome? So you're talking about an outcome now, and that is something that I think will, come, will just put the icing on the cake for your answer. So there you go, folks. Not my idea. It's not even the idea of the delegate who's on the program, who was on that webinar. Uh, but an awesome idea from Simon Sinek. Thank you very much. I bet Simon didn't think that this would be helping people with forward facing questions in interviews to either get into the police or once they're in the police to be successful in promotion boards and such like. But there you go. Well done, Simon. And thank you. Awesome talk, by the way. I love it. I've watched it that many times. I don't know why I didn't think of this, but that's why we work with other people and we inquire into uh, where we are now and where we need to be. And I learned something along the way as well. So I'm sharing that learning with you now. Hope you've enjoyed it and I'll catch up with you next time. Bye bye for now.